Welcome back. With the pandemic putting everything on pause, dancers found a way to keep moving. Ready Dance Company taught the next generation from their living rooms, in parks, and open spaces. Joining us now are Beverly Lopez, founding artistic director, and Genesis Perdomo, dancer at Ready Dance Company. Welcome, ladies. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you for having us. We're so excited. It feels like home. Bronx Net is a place that I'm really comfortable with, so I'm happy to be here. Yes, you're always welcome on our platform and, you know, we're always happy to support you and your platform as well. Uh, so first, before we begin, can you tell us about Ready Dance Company and your mission, Beverly? Yes, so Ready Dance Company is a community of storytellers. We advocate for interpersonal relationships and healing connections. Um, we basically come together, we rehearse, we present dance theater works um, that fuse house and other social dances, including Latin dances like bachata and salsa. Um, I like to consider us a collective um, because we all pour into the process. And not only are we just dancers that perform, you know, actors, actresses that perform, but we also provide programs for the community. Genesis Perdomo has been with us since 2017. So I'm grateful for her contribution and just the fact that we get to be a community. Yes, thank you so much for sharing that, Beverly. And Genesis, welcome. Um, so I wanted to learn how the pandemic has really affected Ready in particular and dancers uh, like yourself, Genesis. Can you share just in general how the pandemic has affected your movement and your ability to dance? Yeah, um, the pandemic has affected me in the sense that I've had to really focus in on what feels good in my body and really um, just tuning into what I need in every single moment. Um, dance is very competitive and often you can kind of lose yourself and lose um, your essence as a performer, as a person. And so the pandemic has forced me to find movement that that is healing for my body, that isn't exhaustive, that isn't stressful, that just, you know, pours into me and also pours into others as they see me um, meditating in my movement. So, yeah. mm. I love that. And, you know, as we shared, Ready did transition um, to virtual workshops and also in parks and gardens. Can you tell me how that experience went and, you know, how it was for you all to transition to this space? It was pretty exciting. Um, not only did we do a lot of self-reflection on you know, what we need, what we need to do to stay surviving and rejuvenated, but we also created a junior dance company. That is a junior division full with teens who are 12 to 19 years old. We actually initiated this brand new division over Zoom for the startup, had a couple of sessions, intro sessions, and then we transitioned to three separate Bronx parks. Uh, we had three rehearsal processes happening at the same time. Um, Pelham Parkway is one under the two train. Another park was Tremart Park, right by Webster. And we had another rehearsal happening um, in the parking lot of Dream Yard Center. And it was so exciting for the teams to be like, wow, this is a pre-professional space where my work is taken seriously, but also this is a chance for me to reconnect with um, the adults of Ready Dance Company who uh, we got really comfortable with them throughout our years together providing the Dance Bridge Workshop. And so it was really exciting to begin brand new things despite the fact that we were in a very um, still place. Yeah. Um, I also started the uh, advisory um, committee as well as the planning committee during this time. So we were on hold, but we were also moving forward. Wow. And it, it sounds, you know, it was just timely for the junior division to kind of get started because a lot of those students were, you know, doing at home learning or like stuck within the four walls. And a lot of the students uh, probably felt liberated, liberated by dance and movement. So, you know, thank you for sharing that. Can you each share also how dance is healing and how movement is practicing self-care in and of itself? Um, yeah, I guess I'll take that. Um, so movement is healing because we exist within our bodies. Um, and I think that in, in this day and age, we are so disconnected from our bodies, from other people. And so when we, ha when we have the opportunity to 
dance and understand what feels good, to learn how to discipline and find structure within movement. We learn a lot about our habits. We learn a lot about, about ourselves, about how we relate with others. Um, so yeah, it, it helps us understand who we are and what we need in this moment and moving forward. Yeah, I want to share that I personally don't know how to dance, but I move, you know, like I love to move and I feel like it's something that's just ancestral, like something that, that has been passed down that I just feel like moving. And even if, uh, to other people, it doesn't look like, like, you know, professional dancing. I still love to do it. Um, so, you know, thank you for sharing that. And I definitely relate to, to that. Um, so are your classes for all experience levels and ages or is it, you know, just people that know how to dance already? If you can share that. So we have um, a public open level workshop for teen artists. Um, and it happens during the DOE uh, school breaks. So it can happen over winter break, summer break, as well as spring break. We just had our virtual spring program um, late March and it was a success three days of dancing virtually, having guest artists come in and teach. Um, and also we will be having a summer program as well. And so, yeah, we mainly serve um, teen dancers whenever we are um, putting on open workshops, but generally Ray Dance Company serves um, the actual core company, the professional sector. We serve adults who just literally want to come into space, connect, um, and just heal, discuss, workshop ideas, and then put it out to the world. Right. Thank you. Uh, can you share more about your dance bridge workshops for youth? Just so you know that our viewers get more, a little more familiar with the workshops. Yes. So uh, dance bridge is so exciting. It's our favorite time of year. We were uh, doing it biannually. Um, it was a workshop. Well, it is a workshop that we currently put on where students are able to spend about three to four hours with Ready Dance Company. We provide dance training um, at the top of the morning and the classes that we provide during that time can be house, bachata, salsa, other social dance forms that get written off as not a technique or not a form where there is technique. And so we empower our youth by bringing forms that are very familiar, but we also bring brand new forms into the space that can be challenging. The point of the morning is to challenge. Um, and then we have a special section towards uh, the end of every workshop day where we literally just choreograph. Um, the main point of Dance Bridge is to empower young people by allowing them to create and initiate for themselves. And what does that mean when your work, your choreography is taken seriously, even if you did it for the first time? And so we'll have like a four day um, process. And at the end of like our week or our weekend, depending on how long the workshop is for a season, there's always a final performance where young people get to perform their own work as well as other things they learn um, throughout the workshop time. And it's wow. I love that. Thank you for sharing, Beverly. And is that um, currently virtual as well, the dance workshop? So it was it was virtual um, for the spring of 2021. And so we're working on making it in person for late August. And if you want more information about the Dance Bridge Workshop, you can follow our IG. It's at Dance Bridge Workshop. Um, or just go to our main company page at da Ready Dance Company. Um, so much ways to get info on Dance Bridge and to uh, join. Yes, definitely stay tuned to those IGs and you know those posts about those upcoming workshops in person. Uh, so you do have an upcoming 2021 benefit. Uh, can you tell us about it and how it will help Ready and all of your workshops and the amazing work that you've been telling us about here today? Yeah, so there's so much coming up. Um, like I said, we will be having our August um, Dance Bridge workshop right in the summer. We also have a rehearsal process that is in session right now with the adult company, the professional sector. And of course, we need to be able to pay our people, pay our artists, right? That is an act of love. If we can pay the people that work and um, collaborate with you. Um, we also have a junior company rehearsal process that's going to start in September. So basically this benefit is going to pour money and pour resources and pour love into all of those processes that are coming up just around the corner. So I hope that you can 
attend the benefit. It's going to be virtual on June 9th at 6.30 p.m. Like I said, visit our benefit page down below mm -hmm. and the benefit page tells you all the details. There's also a live online auction that's happening. So you can bid on services and products from um, black and brown owned businesses. So not only you get to donate, but you might get to win something at the same time. So we encourage you just to attend, attend and just meet us. Yes, definitely support the Ready Dance Company and by assisting their virtual benefit. And it's beverlylopez.com slash 2021 dash benefit. Um, before we go, Beverly, uh, Genesis, can you share just a little message about the importance of movement and dance, especially during these times uh, for our community as a whole? Yeah, um, movement is so, so vital right now, especially when it feels like movement is limited we have to like counteract that and, and yeah. make the choice to move um, within our limited space, like get creative um, because it can feel really stifling just to be still so often, but we, we are creatures that move, um, that need that for survival, so. Thank you so much, Beverly and Genesis for joining us today and sharing more about Ready Dance and you know, best of luck with everything, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you, you as well. We'll be right back here on Open BXRX Tuesday.